All right, y'all, so something a little different today. I'm gonna be doing a just initial thoughts, first thoughts uh, overview of the Carbonox watches. I have the Space Crafter here is what they call it, and then this is the Titan. Um, so before I get too deep into the video, I am gonna put a 20% discount uh, it link in the description. Um, now, granted, I will say, and I'll preface this by saying, I just got them today, so I cannot recommend them yet. Until I actually put them to the test, I'm not going to fully recommend them, but I know not everybody wants to wait. So I'll put it in there because I want you to be able to take care of that 20% off. Um, and I used it myself 20% uh, off as well. So I think both watches were under 150 bucks, which is a really good price. So that's uh, one of the positives right off the bat in the video is they are uh, cost effective, which is nice. They obviously don't, aren't going to have some of the features that you're going to see in some of the higher end watches like your Apple watches and such but they do have some good features. And that brings me into my next part is they're, they are fairly simple. And so if you're looking for something more simple and not too complicated and too tech crazy, then this is gonna be a good option for you. If you want something that does everything, then this might not be a good uh, option for you. They have a lot of like the health stuff, steps, beats uh, per minute, blood pressure, all of that stuff that is uh, on these. They do have messaging, so you get your messages. You cannot send messages back from the watch, but you can read all your messages, which is really cool, and it'll link up to Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and do all of those notifications so you get them to your watch. Um, so yeah, I, I, wore, I wore this one for like an hour today, and I had no issues with it, but I've only worn it for about an hour, so I can't give too much information about that one quite yet. It was comfortable, it didn't have any issues. I've worn this one for most of the day today, and I've really enjoyed it. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. I've not had any issues with it. So, you know, take that as you may. I've worn it for maybe four to five hours. So, uh, far as simplicity, I'm going to show you guys kind of, you know, the simple stuff. So, swipe down. It gives you your settings, brightness and such. Swipe right. These are all like your extra settings. So, they have games. You can play your music from there. You can also pull up the app and then take pictures from this. If you have it set up on like a tripod or something, there's your notifications, weather, which a lot of this you can get to without going to this part of it. So we'll go back and then we'll swipe up. That's the messages. So any messages that you get, I cleared them all out. So that way I don't have people's names on there. And then swipe right is your steps. So you can see I've taken a lot of steps today. We went to a pumpkin thing and did a corn maze and... So I've had it on, like I said, for four to five hours. Um, and then there's your heartbeats per minute. There's your weather. And then there's your camera. And there's your music. And this sort of like breathe app where it tells you to inhale and exhale to calm yourself down. It's like a mental health thing, which is cool. Like if you have issues with that and you need something to kind of calm you down, I like that kind of stuff. So that was pretty neat. Uh, and that's basically it. So nothing like ultra fancy. Like I said, it doesn't have like an insane amount of stuff. This does have a little bit more features than the Titan as well. So that's something to keep in mind. So the whole idea between the uh, with these is if you watch any of their videos, it shows like somebody grinding and shooting sparks into it. Uh, somebody welding. Like they're a heavy duty watch built for the trade fields in my opinion that's from what i can tell and that's like their whole mantra is like welders automotive mechanics uh contractors electricians hvac people that's what they're designed for so when i originally saw them i just stumbled upon them like a few months ago maybe a month ago and i was like man those are really awesome I, the one thing about apple watches is i've always been paranoid of buying one because i'm very rough on basically everything. Even if I'm not here in the shop, we help out with teens at our church, so I'm always playing basketball, volleyball. I mean, we're, we're always doing some sort of activity. You know, people know that I work on cars, so they're always asking me to take a peek. If I got a watch on, I've got scratches on my fossil watches um, and my other just regular watches, they always get messed up. My shoes get destroyed. I'm hard on a lot of stuff. So when I saw that, I was intrigued. Now, let me also preface that by saying I reached out to Carbonox and asked them if they would be interested in sending me uh, some watches to do a video on. They never responded, not once. And I so and also please keep in mind if a company doesn't want to send me something or doesn't want to work with me, I have zero issues with that. I have no problem with that. 
but I do have a problem with no communication because if they won't communicate and at least just say no, then how are they communicating throughout the entire business? Now, let me also say when I made the post that I got these watches, I tagged them in it, mentioned that they never responded and then they responded like five minutes later. So I don't know, we'll see. I just want everybody to know that. That's why I do this stuff is to be as transparent as possible. I'm not saying uh, that they're a horrible company and who knows, maybe it was just a bad time. I have no idea. I'm always willing to give people the benefit of the doubt. But anytime I can get free products and do them in a video, um, one, I can do more giveaways with stuff. And two, I can do more videos, obviously. But when I have to buy them myself, I'm still a small channel and I don't make hardly any money from this. So I'm using that money out of my own pocket. Actually, I've not even made any money technically from YouTube. <laughs> uh, at least I've not cashed any out. So, you know, I'm paying for this stuff. So I can't do as many videos, obviously, because I'm paying for it out of my own pocket. So just keep that in mind as far as the communication side of things. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to get too much into it. Some of my dislikes, I will say, the chargers are different from the two watches. So if you do buy the two-pack, the chargers are different between the two, which I did not like. I'm sure there's a reason. There usually always is. But you can see one is wider than the other. What is really cool is that they are magnetic. So, sorry, see if I can get this in here. They just stick right to the watch, which is really nice. So I do like that as well. I don't like that they're different. So maybe at some point they'll change that. I'm not sure. The app also updates. You can you download the app on your phone. Obviously, that's how it connects. And then there is a lot of options you can do from the app as far as like change your uh, degrees from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You put in all your information as far as your height, weight, and such like that. And you can change it from imperial to metric. You can also change the background on it, which is cool. So like the watch face. So I'll do that real quick and see that it's pretty quick. So we'll go into here. We'll go to watch faces and then we'll change the dial to here and you can see how quick that changes. So it, that's really cool. I actually like that. I know it seems kind of small and simple, but I like change. So anytime that I, I, you know, I'll get bored of a face, I can just change it, which is pretty cool. I'm sure that's, you know, minimal in the smartwatch world, but I liked it. This is, I'm new to all of this because like I said, I've never just looked into them because I've always been terrified of destroying them. So anyways, like I said, this is just an initial video. Don't everybody freak out because I didn't give you exact pricing and all that stuff. I want to be able to do a thorough in-depth testing of them. I'm going to wear them in literally everything that I'm doing except for when I got my hands buried in a car, um, but I'm going to put them to the test. I'm going to abuse them. You know, like I said, I do a lot of activities, a lot of uh, sports and hunting and I work in the shop and I'm just always doing something. So I'm going to be wearing them. Once I do a full in-depth review, I'll get more into the pricing and such and I'll have the 20% off in that video as well. Like I said, if you want to wait, then wait, but I will have the 20% off in this video also if you don't feel like waiting. So appreciate y'all. I always appreciate the support and love. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. Like the video, share it. Obviously, that helps, helps grow, which helps create more money, which helps me be able to buy more stuff to do more videos like this. I really, really get excited about stuff that's specifically designed for the trade industries because I, I honestly, like aside from specialty tools, there's not much stuff like this that's designed for us, that's heavy duty, that is supposed to be able to handle the abuse. So I'm excited about it, and I hope you guys are too. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.